All right, everyone. Today's video is about how to make something automated using R and Windows Task Scheduler. So you, for example, if you want to run an R code daily or weekly at a certain time, so you want to Windows to, uh, we want to tell Windows that, okay, I do it every day, so I want to make it automated. So here is the R script file and please run it daily at a certain time or weekly at a certain time. Uh, something like that. So uh, I'll explain how you do the entire thing. Um, also share a sim very simple code so that you know how it runs and then you can replace the code, R code with your R, with your own R code. I'll show you how it works uh, in Windows 10 because I have the Windows 10 system. I have not tried in other systems, so I'm not committing to it. Uh, I'm not committing that it will run in every Windows, but if you find any difficulty in other Windows, let me know. I'll try to uh, help you out, but uh, also share if you are able to figure out a problem in other windows and then you are able to solve it. Also share in this forum so, so that other people can benefit. Okay. <clears throat> the entire process is a three-step process. Step one, of course, you have to have an R file, like R script file, like which is saved in .R file format. Uh, in a specified folder. And step two is you have to write a batch file uh, dot in the dot .bat file format, which actually tells Windows Star Scheduler that go go find that code, which is this .r file format, uh, saved in the .r file format, and run this uh, R program and at a specified time or day of the day the way you design it in your Windows Task Scheduler. So step three is simple. You go to Windows Task Scheduler, create a basic step process, and you tell that run this .bat file at a specified time of the day, every day, every week, every month, whatever you tell. It does that, it goes to the batch file, it runs the batch file. And in the batch file, you have written what to do. Open the R program, run this R. That's how it works, okay? So in the next video, I will go in detail of step one, step two, and step three. Thank you for watching. Uh, watch the next video for details.